In this problem, we are given a diagram right here, and we are asked to use Ohm's law and Kishkoff's laws to find the value of R in the circuit, R being our resistor. This is up top right here. This is kind of a buildup from a couple other problems that we did. Those problems are featured in a playlist linked below, as well as the notes that will help us solve this problem. This is not in our notes, but it is a common thing to know. It is that our voltage right here, this 200 volts, is going to be the same throughout our circuit because it is in parallel. If our circuit is in parallel, the voltage will remain the same once it splits across the parallel circuit. We can see that this and this is in parallel. Parallel means that they are like this, and we can see that the circuit is drawn just like that. So when our 200 volts goes through and into this resistor, and into this resistor, it's going to be the exact same each time. So that means this right here has to be carrying 120 volts since the middle is carrying 120 volts. That means 80 volts is stopped at this resistor. So we're going to have 80 volts and that's going to be the voltage going through this resistor. Now we know the voltage on this resistor, however, we need to also find the current to find the actual resistance. If we look at our notes, we know a formula and that formula is equal to current times resistance. Since we want to find resistance, we can rewrite this as R is equal to voltage divided by current. But we also need to find the current, so we're going to write this as current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Now we have three formulas here that we can use to solve this problem. To find current, we're going to use Kishkoff's current law. And Kishkoff current law states that the sum of all currents at a node is equal to zero. From previous problems, we know that this is a node, and so is this. However, given the circumstance of this problem, we're going to use this bottom node. Looking through it, we can see that the current is going into it from here. We can see that our current is going this way into here, and then our current is going to be going out this way here. So the way I'm drawing my current is I'm starting at this left hand, and it's going all the way around through each of these parallel lines. But if we were good to go from the right side like this and these things were facing the opposite way, I think we would get the same answer, just our equation will be backwards. So drawing this, we're going to use Kishkoff's current law. Again, it's that the sum of all currents at a node is equal to zero. So if we're gonna say that our node is equal to zero, and now we are going to look at our currents. So the first current we have is actually unknown. It's this one right here. We don't know what it is, so we're just gonna label it I. This is the current flowing through the entire system. Since it is going out of our node, it's going to be positive. In our notes, we know that current flowing into a node is equal to a negative, and current flowing out of our node is equal to a positive. So this is going to be a positive I. Now, the current from this middle resistor is going to be negative since it is flowing into our node. To find the current given voltage and resistance, we are going to have the voltage over our resistance, so 120 over 24 in this example. Next, we are going to look at this far resistor right here. We know the voltage because, again, in parallel, the voltage is, is the same. So this is also going to be a subtraction since it's going into our node. It's going to be the 120 volts divided by our 8 ohm resistor. If we divide out these, we are going to get 120 divided by 24 is equal to 5, and 120 divided by 8 is equal to 15. So we're going to have a I minus 5 minus 15, or I minus 20. If we move this over to the other side, we're going to get that 20 is equal to I, and I is measured in amps, so we have 20 amps. And this is the current running through our entire system, so now we know the current and the voltage. So to find the resistance on our circuit, we are just going to use this formula right here that we wrote down earlier. We have the resistance is equal to our voltage, which is 80 on this resistor, divided by our total current running through the system, which is 20 amps that we just found. And dividing this out, we are gonna get that our resistance is equal to four and we get that voltage divided by amps is equal to ohms, so our answer is going to be 4 ohms, but for this problem, it just takes 4. 
And this is the answer to this question. If this video helped you out, consider leaving a like. If you have any questions about this problem, leave them down below. As always, links to similar problems are also listed below as well as the notes to help out with this problem.